सो आई गेस वी आर लाइव ना हेलो स्टूडेंट्स एंड वेलकम बैक टू बैंक एग्जाम डॉट कॉम माई नेम इज रमनदीप सिंह एंड टूडे वी आर डूइंग रेशियो एनालिसिस एम सी क्यू सिक्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वेरी गुड क्वेश्चन फॉर से बी ग्रेड ए फॉर से बी ग्रेड ए फॉर से बी ग्रेड ए वी आर डूइंग दिस सेशन राइट सो लेट स्टार्ट द सेशन विद द let me tell you that we have sebi grade a 2020 course in which we are providing the complete video classes for both the phases all the papers based on the latest pattern test series is available for both phases downloadable and print friendly notes are there descriptive evaluation service which is charged separately which is charged separately we got nine final selections in 2018 join the course on bankexamstudy.com just go to bankexamstudy.com All the links are available in the description. Let's start with the question number one. Uh, determine uh, determine the stock turnover ratio. If the opening stock is thirty one thousand, closing stock is twenty nine thousand, sales is like three lakh and twenty thousand, gross profit is twenty five percent on sales. First of all, you should know the stock turnover ratio uh, formula. The inventory turnover ratio, cost of goods sold divided by the average inventory. C O G S divided by the average inventory. Uh, so. the ratio the stock turnover ratio turnover ratio the simple formula uh, the simple the stock turnover ratio the simple formula for that the stock turnover ratio the simple formula uh, for that just a second so the simple formula cost turnover ratio cost of goods sold divided by the average inventory uh, cogs divided by the average inventory so first of all it is very easy to calculate the average inventory you got the closing stock 29000 got the opening stock 31000 so the average inventory is 30000 so the average inventory is 30000 so uh, to calculate the cost of goods sold the cost of goods sold you got the sales uh, first of all you got what do you got you got the sales okay you got the sales the sale is 3 lakh and 20000 3 lakh and 20000 okay the profit is 25% on sales the profit is 25% on sales so if profit is 25% is uh, profit is 25% 75% would be cost so we want to calculate 75% of sales that is cost of goods sold what it is is just 3/4 of this one okay so you can just uh it's 8 80000 so it is 8 3 the 24 so 2 lakh and 40000 here it goes so 2 lakh and 40000 is the cost of goods sold divided by the 30000 which is the average inventory so it becomes what 8 8 times is the stock turnover ratio very very easy cost of goods sold divided by the average inventory very very important question very important question i guess okay so very very important question if there is any doubt ask your doubts if there is anybody is having any sort of doubt you can just ask me right you can just ask me and i'm going to tell you okay so please ask your doubts okay ask your doubts okay so so let me just see uh, see students let me tell you one thing theek hai let me tell you one thing somebody suraj indu suraj indu uh, so uh, let me just tell you one thing suraj somebody is actually you know uh, is abusing me suraj what's your problem buddy what's your problem what's your problem please use your real name use uh, you know mention your profile id and do same thing main galat kya kar raha hu what wrong thing i'm doing i'm just teaching people are learning what's your problem do you have any issue come on like seriously <laughs> i mean that's a problem in india actually right i mean uh, that's a problem in india people they just they just want to abuse you no matter what I don't know, so I have to, you know, hide you. Like, what? What's the point? There is no point, actually. Let's not waste our times. Uh, okay. Anyways, so, uh, Suraj, <laughs> bye, Suraj. So anyway, uh, the stock turnover ratio is there. Okay. 
the quick ratio you got quick ratio you got uh, you know current ratio you got current liabilities and you want to determine the value of stock first of all the quick ratio quick asset divided by the current liability the difference between quick asset and the current assets quick asset and the current asset you know right uh, current assets are like inventory cash in hand you know that that you can you know readily convert into cash right uh, now there is a difference between current asset and the liquid asset right uh, current asset and the liquid asset inventories is a sort of asset which is not a quick asset okay so uh, inventory is not a quick asset for example you want to convert your invent uh, you want to convert your asset into cash in one day you can't convert inventory into cash in one day without causing much losses right that is the definition of quick assets cash in uh, you know cash in hand investments or cash at bank all these you know uh, uh, assets current assets you can convert to cash within one day you cannot convert inventories to cash within one day inventory is a current asset but it is not a quick asset so that is a difference between quick asset and the current asset so quick as uh, the quick assets the quick assets the quick assets are 1.8 times quick assets are one time 1 1.8 of liability one time 8x of liabilities current liabilities current liabilities right and the current assets and the current assets and the current assets are 2.7x of current liabilities are you getting it of current liabilities so uh you need to determine the value of inventory the value of inventory just deduct 1.8 x from 2.7 x that is 0.9 of 0.9 of current liability 0.9 of current liabilities is stock 0.9 of current liability is stock so 60,000 ka 9 over 10 it is 54,000 so 54,000 is our answer very very important question very very important question please keep that in mind you can find such question in the exam very very important question okay very important question uh the third question question number three uh these questions are actually very important for rba grade b as well even for the gbo very important questions even for so marketing so determine the operating ratio please remember operating ratio and operating profit ratio are different operating expenses are given sale is given sales return is given cogs cost of goods sold is given so the formula for operating ratio operating expenses plus cost of goods sold divided by net sales do not confuse operating ratio with the operating profit ratio do not do not confuse okay so simply operating expenses plus uh, uh cogs operating expenses operating expenses is sixty thousand. operating expenses is sixty thousand. okay and cost of goods sold is six lakh and sixty thousand. okay so it becomes like uh, seven lakh and twenty uh, thousand seven lakh and twenty thousand net sales is nine lakh forty thousand minus forty thousand it is nine lakhs so the operating ratio you can just remove it uh, you just need to know the nine cut table right nine uh, uh, ten and eight so it is eighty percent multiplied by hundred so it is eighty percent you just need to multiply this by hundred as well okay so eighty percent is the correct correct answer very very simple uh please uh you know remember the difference between operating ratio and the operating profit ratio okay a company's issued share capital through an accounting period consists of 5 lakh ordinary shares of 20 you know pence or 20 yeah 20 pence and 80,000 preference shares of 1 pound right after tax the earning is 3 lakh and 20,000 preference dividend is 8 uh, 8,000 pounds the basic EPS you need to calculate so profit after tax you got 3 lakh and 20,000 uh, you know uh, pounds uh, you need to deduct the preference dividend you need to deduct the preference dividend obviously uh, rest of the money is divided among uh, you know equity shareholders so what is left three lakh and twelve thousand uh, 
पाउंड्स आर लेफ्ट थ्री लैख एंड ट्वेल्व थाउजेंड पाउंड्स आर लेफ्ट सो दिस मनी इज गोइंग टू बी डिवाइडेड अमंग फाइव लैख ऑर्डिनरी शेयर होल्डर्स सो थ्री लैख एंड ट्वेल्व थाउजेंड इज डिवाइडेड अमंग फाइव लैख ऑर्डिनरी शेयर होल्डर्स सो इट इज थ्री हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेल्व डिवाइडेड बाय फाइव हंड्रेड राइट सो यू कैन जस्ट यू नो फाइव इट्स लाइक पॉइंट जीरो सिक्स टू एंड फोर आई गेस सो यू गॉर इट यू गॉर इट राइट ओके सो इट इज पॉइंट सिक्स टू फोर यू नो पाउंड और सिक्सटी टू पॉइंट फोर पेंस ओके सो बी इज द करेक्ट आंसर बी इज आर आंसर ओके प्रकाश कुमार इज आस्किंग समथिंग प्रकाश यस प्रकाश प्लीज आस्क योर क्वेश्चन इन सिलेबस एज डेप्रिसिएशन फिक्स डेसर्ट्स आर गिवन शुड वी प्रिपेयर ओल्ड अकाउंटिंग स्टैंडर्ड और न्यू ए एस टेन डोंट फॉलो इंड ए एस राइट फॉलो द ए एस गिवन बाय द आई सी आई आई गेस सो आई हैव कवर्ड अकाउंटिंग स्टैंडर्ड आई हैव कवर्ड अकाउंटिंग स्टैंडर्ड ऑन इन माई कॉस प्लीज चेक इट ओके दैट मच इज सफिशेंट ओके एंड आई फॉलोड द लेटेस्ट ए एस सो ऑन जैन ट्वेंटी थर्टीन अ कंपनी इशूड शेयर कैपिटल कंसिस्ट ऑफ वन लैक एंड ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड ऑर्डिनरी शेयर ऑफ वन पाउंड राइट ऑन फर्स्ट ऑफ मे द कंपनी इशूड अनदर थर्टी थाउजेंड ऑर्डिनरी शेयर ऑन फर्स्ट जुलाई द कंपनी फर्दर डे शूड फाइव फिफ्टी थाउजेंड शेयर सी बेसिकली इट इज वेटेड यू नो इन केस द शेयर आर इशूड ऑन इन द डिफरेंट टाइम पीरियड ऑफ द फाइनेंशियल ईयर्स राइट वेटेड एवरेज इज काउंटेड सो हाउ टू कैलकुलेट द वेटेड एवरेज ओके वेटेड एवरेज ऑफ इक्विटी शेयर सो वन लैख एंड ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड शेयर इट दे वर देयर फॉर ट्वेल्व मंथ्स अनदर थर्टी थाउजेंड शेयर दे वर देयर फॉर हाउ मेनी मंथ्स फॉर एट मंथ्स फॉर अप्रैल मे यू नो फॉर अप्रैल फॉर नो फॉर जैन फेब मार्च अप्रैल दी शेयर वॉज नॉट वर नॉट देयर so they they should not uh, you know get uh, dividend for those four months okay and then the last one i guess 50000 shares and it, they were there for six months only because they were issued on like uh, july on 1st of july so 6 over 12 so weighted average number of shares it's 1 1 lakh and 20000 uh, this one is 2 and 3 so this one goes to like 20 uh, i guess 20000 and this one directly goes half it is 25000 so weighted average number of shares it's 1 lakh and 65000 directly 1 lakh and 65000 is a weighted average number of weighted average number of shares so that is how you calculate the eps so now uh, you need to imp implement both these uh, you know the eps and the weighted average number of shares uh, concept here okay so a company's a company's profit after tax for the year uh, To thirtieth of June twenty fourteen was one million. Okay, so company made one million. Companies issued share capital on first of July twenty thirteen consist of two point four million shares or twenty four lakh ordinary shares. Further three lakh shares were issued on first of September. So calculate the weighted average number of shares. So twenty four lakh shares, twenty uh, four lakh shares were there for twelve months. Okay, and another three lakh shares were there. So three lakh shares. Uh, were there for I guess uh, it was on first July, July August for ten months. Okay, so it goes directly twenty four lakhs, and this one is like um, five and six, and this one goes to like uh, I guess twenty two uh, lakh and fifty thousand. Okay, two lakh and fifty thousand. So it goes like uh, you got the total number of shares. It is twenty six lakh. And fifty thousand is a weighted average number of shares. So you got the total income. So you want to calculate the EPS. It is ten lakh divided by twenty six lakh and fifty thousand. Uh, just you need to do the calculations. The rough calculations here. So four zeros are gone. Four zeros are gone. Hundred divided by two sixty five. So just calculate it. Okay, just do your calculations. And obviously this is not the answer. This is directly gone. So. By doing your calculations, by doing your calculations, rough calculations, you can find the answer. I got it. Thirty-seven point seven p uh, pence is the correct answer. Okay. 
So uh, that's all for today, students. I hope you like the today's session. If you like the today's session, you can get my full course on bankexamstudy.com. All the links are available in the description. Link to my 36 previous similar sessions are also available in the description. So we are providing video classes, notes, test series, downloadable notes are there, descriptive paper evaluation is there. We got nine final selection last year. So just check my full course test series. We have started the test series, the best test series available in the market. So uh, the list of students who crack the SEBI grade A using our course, RRB, uh, Wealth Management 2019, all these students, they used our courses and they uh, crack their respective exams. My name is Ramandeep Singh and I hope uh, you are doing well. So my WhatsApp number is 906720100. That is my WhatsApp number. You can WhatsApp me anytime. Subscribe my channel and like this video and share this videos with your friends. That's really, really important for me. So thank you and have a very, very nice day. Bye-bye. Subscribe my channel.